Bonjour! I have taken a day trip from Paris to Giovanni, where Monet's garden is. Claude Monet, of course, was one of the most prolific, iconic French Impressionist painters and one of my favorite painters. So it's amazing to be here in his gorgeous garden. I already walked through the water lily pond and it was beautiful. I've taken so many photos. I wish I brought my close up filter with me, but I left it at the hotel, which was just stupid because I would love to take some detail photos of the flowers and there were all these pretty little dew drops that I just saw that were just so cute and I really would have wanted to get some photos of those. But I've been taking a ton of photos of the flowers. In case you're wondering, it's April 7th. So if you're planning a trip here at the beginning of April, this is what you can expect. There are lots of lots of flowers, tulips especially, and the trees aren't flowering as much, but a lot of the flowers on the ground are in bloom and are just super colorful. It's just like a carpet of flowers and I'm obsessed. Now let's rewind to the water lily pond. Unfortunately, the water lilies don't bloom until June, but there were still plenty of other colorful flowers lining the water. I definitely suggest arriving early so you can catch the morning light. The foundation Claude Monet opens at 9.30 a.m. and closes at 6 p.m. It is open from April 1st through November 1st. Adult tickets cost 11 euros. Claude Monet was born in Paris in 1840. He is known as being a founder of the Impressionist style of painting, which is characterized by thin, visible brushstrokes and a focus on depicting light and movement. In 1883, Monet moved to Giverny, where he produced some of his most recognized work. He created numerous paintings in his immense garden, particularly of water lilies and his Japanese bridge. After the water lily pond, I moved on to the sprawling garden in front of Monet's house. While there were a lot of tour groups, it didn't feel crowded. Monet's pink house is incredibly cute with its green shutters and vines. The inside is just as cute with bright colors, vintage furnishings, and tiles. It was awesome seeing Monet's studio as well. Before leaving, I dropped by the large gift shop. I have exited the gardens and I'm going to wander around Giverny a little bit more. There are a couple more Monet related sites and it's just such a cute little town. So I'm excited to explore. My train back to Paris isn't until almost five. So I have almost four hours to kill. I also forgot to say how you get here from Paris. You have to take the train to the Vernon stop and then there's a bus that'll take you to Giverny, which <laughs> every time I say it, I have trouble saying it, but hopefully I'm saying it correctly. Um, anyway, I am here here at the Impressionist Museum. I might not go inside because I'm trying to save money, but there is a little garden area outside. So I'm gonna wander around and just take in the views. I haven't even walked that far, but this town is so cute. It kind of reminds me of the Cotswolds in England, all the stone buildings covered in ivy, and there's all sorts of art galleries and stuff, and ah, just so cute. And it's a really nice day. It's a little chilly, but it's mostly sunny, but the, there are clouds rolling in now, but it's so nice to be out of the city and just relaxing in the countryside. I'm now at this cute little church and Monet's grave. Okay, this place is so adorable and quaint. I just can't get over it. I'm obsessed. I'm taking so many photos and I just love it. Outside of like the main garden area, like there's no one, especially on like the back streets. It's 
amazing. <laughs> I've taken the bus back to Vernon with time to kill before my train. I went to the grocery store and got a little falafel wrap and some chips and ate it here in front of the church, which is beautiful. And there's also all these like timbered houses back there too that are just so cute. My heart is just so full right now. I was kind of dreading this trip because Portugal, my last trip, there were some days where I just wasn't feeling it, was feeling kind of down and lonely, but so far this trip has been pretty awesome, but it is a long trip and I'm not that far into it. So I guess we'll see how it goes. But until then, today was amazing, and I definitely suggest coming to Giverne if you are, you know, into cute little towns or flowers or Monet because the garden was amazing. Definitely one of the best day trips from Paris, and I highly suggest it. This is gonna be the end of the vlog. Make sure you're subscribed to see the next France video when it goes online. And just thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Paris to Giverne. And then there's a bus that'll bring you to Gervin... Giverny. Giverny. Giverny.